But yeah, now you artists don't have an excuse. Make some fucking programs, bitch. Yeah. Welcome back to Benjamin. It's my name is Benjamin and let's chat for a minute. So let me just say right off, I know most of my subscribers aren't gonna be super interested in this video. So if, if you're not interested in watching it, you don't wanna watch it, that's totally fine. I won't be offended. I won't, I won't be upset if you just click away. I'll be back to my normal nonsense soon. I just personally find this interesting, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So if you're not a programmer, you don't know anything about code, all you need to really know is that there are different programming languages out there. The same way there's different languages for humans to talk to other humans, there's different languages for humans to talk to computers. I know a number of them myself, C, C++, C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, Python, Lua, all, all kinds of different languages, and none of them are really any better than any other. Although some programmers will swear up and down that their favorite language is the best language, so to those people, I'm sorry. Your language is the best language, please don't yell at me. But I got off on a tangent. Basically, all you need to know are there are different coding languages. No programming language is truly superior, but there are some that are certainly inferior. Esoteric programming languages, or in other words, programming languages that are so fucking weird, nobody knows why they exist. You guys remember lolcats? You know, the funny pictures of cats, they'll have a caption like, I can has cheeseburger, you know, fr from, the, from the infancy of the internet. Have you ever wanted to write a program and also type like a lolcat at the same time? What, you haven't? Well, you're the fucking weird one. Lol code. I don't know why it exists, but damn if it doesn't exist. There's actually an example program here that uh, prints out Hello World. Hello World is just a tradition among programmers. The very first thing you learn to do when you learn a new language is to write Hello World to your computer screen using that language. So let's walk through this example. Hi. So I'm assuming hi is the opening point for the program so it knows where to start. Can has STDIO. They're, okay, so they're importing the STDIO library, which stands for Standard Input Output. Which, side note, don't ever Never let programmers name anything in your life. We are terrible at naming things. They made the shorthand for standard STD. I would have liked to have been in on that meeting where a bunch of programmers decided to be totally okay to put STDs all over our code. The standard library is a standard library. We all use it STD. They couldn't have come up with any other better shorthand for standard. It had to be STD. Fucking hate programmers. All right, anyway, I got off on a tangent. They brought in the standard input output library and that basically lets you print things to the screen. And now that they have the standard input output library, they can print out high world. I, I guess their, their, their command for printing out is, is visible and then you, you, you pass it what you want it to print out to the screen. <laughs> and then K thanks by closes out the program. All right, let's move on. Malbolg, Malbolge. I'm not even gonna try to explain this one. This one was apparently written to be the most confusing and stupid language ever and uh, yeah, it kind of fucking looks like that. Well, what are you telling me? You guys look at this and you don't know what that means? What are you, stupid? It's pretty bad when I can't even find the words hello world in the hello world example. Yes, that is code right there. That prints out hello world to your screen. That is fucking code. Oh, you think that looked confusing? Oh, we're just getting started. Let me tell you a little something about white space. You see this shit? That's some fucking code right there. Oh, there's definitely something there. It's just a bunch of spaces and tabs. And, and no, I'm not fucking with you. That was actually code right there. That was code you were just looking at. This right here? This is code. So white space characters are basically just characters on your keyboard which create white space on a document. So spaces, tabs, and the enter key. That's all you have to work with on this language. It will ignore any other characters. I can only assume that the person who made this language is just a very bad person. And if you use this language, well then, you're likely also a very bad person. Now, I know some of you out there are thinking, Ben, I'm, I'm a creative writing major. I don't, I don't understand anything about what you're talking about. That's okay. We've got a language for you too. The Shakespeare programming language. I'm not even gonna claim to remotely understand this language and honestly, I don't want to. I already dislike Shakespeare in general, so I doubt I wanna read his shit in code form. But for those of you who are interested, here's how you print out Hello World to the screen. This one's honestly kind of impressive though, cause it, it genuinely does kind of look like a play. Like if you showed me this out of context, I would genuinely think, okay, this is some kind of weird Shakespeare fanfic. But there you go, English majors. Now you have no excuse not to write some fucking code. Oh, and if you're an artist, you ain't fucking safe, my friend. Pete, a programming language that turns abstract art 
into code. Now you have no excuse for not making that game that you've been wanting to make. Although if I'm being completely honest, I would genuinely be super impressed if someone just sent me a bitmap image that was a full game. Like this is the one language I can actually see being somewhat useful. Like imagine if it kind of worked like a QR code, but now you didn't actually have to download anything. Like you could just take a picture of this image and you wouldn't have to download anything. You would just have a game on your phone now. Although that would be fucking awful for viruses. Like the Hello World program even vaguely resembles a QR code. I take it back. There is one esoteric language that can stay and that's Pete. It can stay. The rest of you gotta go, but but Pete can stay. Like, look at that. That's actually like something you would find in a modern art museum. That's actually kind of cool. But yeah, now you artists don't have an excuse. Make some fucking programs, bitch. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope at least some things made sense to you. I hope I wasn't just rambling the whole time. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but uh, I mean, if you're seeing it, obviously I've posted it, but I mean, I try to just post things on my channel that I would personally enjoy, so I figured I would personally enjoy seeing this, so maybe you guys will too. I don't know, maybe not. If not, I'll be back to doing stupid shit soon, I promise. Anyway, I'm gonna go draw some dicks in MS Paint and run them through Pete. <laughs>